actual video and how to learn. We are going to see the comparison. So, first we are going to see e commerce. E commerce means what? Electronic commerce. Last year itself, it's not always there, isn't it? E commerce it refers to buying and selling online. All the transactions are done online. So, whatever you are buying and selling, everything is done through online. Okay. And e business. So, e business also with the help of internet only, we are doing business. Isn't it? So, it refers to a company which does its transaction in the internet. So, whatever business they are doing, everything. All the transactions they are done through the internet. That is called as e-business. Okay. What is e-business? E-business production or purchase and sale of goods undertaken with an objective of earning profit through satisfaction of human needs. So e-business also what they will do? They will uh, purchase the goods. They will sell the goods. And then what is the main objective? Uh, they, they want to earn more profit. And then they should uh, satisfy the human wants, isn't it? In simple words, if all the business transactions carried out through the internet and other online tools is called an e-business. So whatever transactions we are doing, everything we, we are doing through the internet or online, that is called as e-business. Okay, do you understand children what I am saying? E-commerce plus e-business. What is the difference between e-commerce and e-business? E-commerce involves commercial transaction done over internet. So whatever commercial transactions are there, everything they will do through the internet. E-business is conducted of business process on the internet. So whatever business process we have, we are purchasing, we are selling, whatever we are doing, everything we are doing through the internet. E-commerce is use of electronic transmission media that catalyst for buying and selling of products and services. So what e-commerce is doing now, it is the electronic transmission of medium. Okay. So, and then uh, we are also buying and selling products and services. Okay. But e-business, in addition, e-business also includes the exchange of information directly related by buying and selling of products. So we are exchanging all the information through the internet. Okay. Buying and selling of products. Yes, those activities which essentially involve monetary transactions are termed as e-commerce. So, what which is very important, which is very essential in the most money transaction. But in addition, it include activities like the procurement of raw materials or goods, customer education, looking for suppliers, etc. So, e-business in the sense you have to do more importance for uh, procurement of goods, and then raw materials you need. And then customer, uh, you have to educate the customer. And then looking for uh, supplies. So wherever the supply chain is doing everything, you have to look. And e-commerce usually requires the use of just a website. So you can go and see the website and then uh, that's all you can order. But e-business involves the use of uh, CRMs, ERPs and a ton of different uh, business process. So, so many uh, transactions you have to do with e-business. Okay. So, e-commerce involves the mandatory use of internet. So, without internet, you cannot do e-commerce. Okay. So, e-business also like the only, but e-business can involve the use of internet and internet or external. Internet in the sense that is different. I will explain uh, you clearly. Okay. So, what they will do now? They will, uh, uh, internet also very much important. And then, internet and external also uh, very much important. Okay. So we will see in this one. E-marketing. It refers to the promoting products through online. So whatever product you are manufacturing, you have to promote that product through online. You are going to promote and then you are going to get the custom customers through the online. That is called as e-marketing. E-marketing is a achieving marketing objectives. So it's a digital econo technology like internet, world wide web, Email, wireless, media, and management system, etc. So, e marketing is the achieving marketing objectives. What are the um, objectives we are having? Everything we have to achieve through the e marketing. Okay. 
So how you will uh, achieve well, through the digital technologies like the internet, www and the email, wireless media, management system, everything. Objectives. Expansion of market shares. Reduction or uh, distribution and proportional expenses. Achieving higher brand awareness. Strengthening database. Okay. So, uh, what are we are having? Objective in the sense, it is mainly it? So, expansion of market shares. So, you are expanding the market. Reduction of distribution and proportional expenses. So, if you are uh, expanding your market, so distribution center will be more. Okay. So, uh, even though you have to reduce your expenses also. Achieving higher brand awareness. So, what are all the brands available in the market? Everything you should know and then you should have awareness about that product. Strengthening database. So, all the data you have to be thorough. All the knowledge you should, you should have. So, what are all the products they are introducing in the market? So, how much competition will be? So, you have to uh, see all those things. Okay. Advantage. So, many advantages we are having. It provides 24 by 7 services to its users. So, online lessons, you, you can, uh, any time you can use, isn't it? 24 by 7. It has direct contact with this customer. So, directly we are contacting. So, flip card and then stamp deal and then uh, uh, so many things uh, nowadays we are using. Amazon and all. So, 24 by 7, you can order your products and then direct contact with the customers. Products are not at a cheaper price. Products are uh, at a cheaper price. So, easily you can get at so many varieties you can see. Uh, see and then you can choose your variety. Customers can buy whatever they want to buy. So if you want whatever you want, you can buy, isn't it? So, so many companies will be there. All the companies they are uh, uh, selling. So you can easily get your uh, uh, products, isn't it? So uh, so many disadvantages also there. Okay. Remarketing is of high cost since the companies have to spend more to advertise the products. So, they have to spend more amount for advertising. Then only it will reach the customers. That's why the uh, high cost for, uh, they have to spend for this advertisement and all. Okay. It's not suitable for small scale industries. Yeah, definitely. Isn't it? So, small scale industries, they will put very uh, little uh, capital only. So, how can they do, uh, spend for all these things? Isn't it? Companies hardly update their information on their websites. So, updation should be there. So, whatever things we are introducing in the market, everything they should up update. And then software also, they should up update. Customers have fear of losing their credit card because they are uh, suspicious about their security. So, uh, sometimes uh, we, we are also thinking, you know, if you are using uh, this, uh, using our uh, debit or credit card, and this is, uh, whether they will take our uh, amount more or not, we will be getting fear. So, same way, the customer is getting fear about the security. Okay, we understand children. So, you can see so many uh, online websites, Amazon, Shein, uh, and all. And then next we are going to see the traditional market. Okay, traditional market and then internal market. Now, we are going to see the traditional market or internal market. Traditional market is what normally we are moving and purchasing the product. Right? That is called a traditional market. And then it, uh, online market in the sense, uh, we are uh, online, we are purchasing now, that is called as uh, uh, internet market. Okay, so traditional market in the sense, normally we are going and purchasing now, that is called as traditional market. And then internet market in the sense, we are purchasing through online now, internet, that is called as internet market. Okay. Each aid. E trading or electronic e trading refers to the sale of goods and services through the shopping website or internet to the ultimate consumer. So, e trading also uh, like uh, Amazon, like that. It is a business to consumer transaction model. It is also called as online retailing. See, uh, online retailing only we are telling that uh, e trading. Okay. So, you can see so many e trading Amazon, Flipkart, Jabco, uh, uh, Mindra, Snapdeal, like that. Okay. So, this is all you know very well. Nowadays, we are using more that is uh, e trading Dream marketing. 
this marketing of eco friendly products it is also known as ecological marketing and eco friendly marketing while selling the products companies spread awareness about the impact of harmful polluters see nowadays we are saying no don't use plastic bags uh, you should not uh, use uh, uh, it will not be decomposable so that's why uh, the eco friendly wherever you are going they are saying no eco friendly products only you should use paper bags you can use they are saying no that is called as green market green market and then service market the service is any activity or benefits that one party can offer to another which is uh, intangible and does not result in ownership it denotes the processing of selling goods like banking things or insurance etc the service sector they are called as service sector or service marketing see banking sectors and then insurance and all they are uh, they are uh, giving a uh, services for us one uh, one side they are doing business as well as they are doing service so that is called as service marketing food and entertainment service so they are also doing some services okay viral marketing viral marketing in sense it is a technique where a message is passed from one person to another person passing through one person to another person that is called as marketing if you are getting any message we are telling to another person now that is called as viral marketing the information spreads from one person to another like a virus now corona like that <laughs> example youtube here the videos from youtube are shared on facebook even twitter so they are passing their information whatever they are getting they are passing the product goes so viral that people and up by the products so it is so viral that's why the the people one by one they will buy the products okay example hot dogs okay and then gorilla market it is an unconventional system of promotion companies display big posters in areas where large number of people gather together for example sports event or any uh, exhibition or any uh, people crowded area they will display this board okay through uh, while seeing that board what uh, normally we would go and purchase is it that is called as gorilla market example ye wale is display big poster of the products of our promotion purpose so they will display the big board okay automatically the people will go and buy the products okay naichi market the business of promoting and selling a product or service to a specialized segment of a market gains at being a big fish in a small form instead of being a small fish in a big form so what they will do now the business for promoting and selling a product or service to a specialized segment of a market so in a particular for example uh, 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 Big uh, auditorium is there. For example, a sports event, yes, yeah, uh, ESPN or uh, Star Sports like that. They will uh, go and occupy a particular place, and then they will uh, give advertisement through the uh, dance or something. You can see uh, UPN. So some uh, some people will uh, do uh, dancing or some people will do banking. That and all they will do. So they are attracting the people while doing that. Okay, that is called as Nike market. Social marketing. Social marketing is a marketing tool. It is a systematic application of marketing philosophy and techniques to achieve specific behavior goals, which ensure social good. Social marketing is a marketing tool. It is a systematic application of marketing philosophy. So whatever philosophy they are following, in a, uh, on those days and all, how they they were started doing business, uh, how they were started doing marketing. that they will follow now also okay so to achieve specific behavior goals which uh, ensure social good for example uh, what can uh, uh, to prevent dowry uh, system and then uh, child marriage like that okay uh, smoking causes uh, cancer like that they are uh, saying no that is not one type of marketing okay covid now also they are uh, saying covid due to covid 19 the indian government forces the people to wear masks and use sanitizer whenever they go out this is also social marketing so they are giving uh, uh, cultivating the awareness uh, from the public to the public okay so for example asking people not to smoke in the public area asking people to wear seat belts while driving social marketing promotes the uh, consumption of social desirable products and develop 
health. Rural market. You know that uh, very well, isn't it? For every uh, rural areas, usually they are having a small market. No? That is called as rural market. Rural marketing is a process of developing, pricing, promoting, and distributing specific goods and services with rural customers to satisfy their needs and wants. People sell products as a low price. You can see so many vegetable sellers, fruit sellers, fish sellers. So, like that, they are called as rural uh, sellers. The rural marketing only, they will sell all their products. Okay, you can see all those things, isn't it? Commodity markets. Commodity market is a market, uh, a commodity market is a physical or virtual marketplace for buying and selling and trading raw or primary products. There are about 50 major commodity market, markets in the world. So, for commodity market means all the products they will sell there. Raw materials or a semi finished product or primary product they will sell there. Okay. So, types of commodity market. The commodities are split into two types hard and soft commodity. All commodities are natural resources that must be mined or extracted, such as gold, rubber, and oil. So, hard commodities mean this rubber or gold, or they are, it, it will get only in the mines, no? So, that's all. Soft commodities are agriculture products or livestock such as corn, wheat, coffee, and so all millets. Like that, agriculture products are called as soft commodities. Okay. Multi level marketing. Multi level marketing is a marketing strategy wherein the sale of comp sales companies encouraging its existing distributors to recruit new distributors to facilitate the sale of goods and services. In the multi level marketing, what they will do you know, already existing distributors are there, and then they are recruiting new distributors to facilitate the sale of goods or services. So, they are, uh, they are finding the new distributor uh, to uh, uh, sale of goods and services. So, that is called as multi level marketing. You can see this Tupperware and up. So, it is multi level marketing only. You can find so many people. Okay. So that is called as if, if I am going and uh, getting one people and say, she will go and get some other person. That person will go and get some other person. Then the distributor link will be more. Okay. Ambush marketing. Ambush marketing is a new technique where a particular advertiser seeks to connect his product to the event in the mind of potential customer. It is done without paying sponsoring expenses to the event in other words. It is a method of uh, building branding converting. So, ambush marketing it is a new technique. Okay. So, particular advisor seek to connect his product to the event in the minds of potential customer. So, what he what will do you know? He is having a, 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 a he is an advisor and then what he will do you know? He will go and connect the another, he will go and uh, introduce the product and then again what he will do you know? He will go and uh, say to the customer. So, everything is a new drug. It is done without paying sponsoring expenses. Any expenses, you can never spend any expenses. Okay. So, the event in other words, it is a method of building brands and conversion. So, they are building the brands. Okay. It is given we are all witnessed in the uh, picture ambush marketing. It can also be done by sponsoring famous personalities in various fields. So, that famous personality will come and say about the product. So, automatically, what we will do now, we will uh, automatically buy the product. For example, buy juice. Isn't it? A Shah Rukh Khan or somebody will come and say about the product, no? So, we are attracting. They are saying by urging uh, people to buy their product by using their sponsorship. So, he is giving sponsor. Okay. So, uh, some uh, famous personalities they will introduce. Okay. So, Speedo, Arina, Nike, Under Armour, like that. Okay. And then, content market. Content marketing is said to be the art of communicating and, uh, with customers and uh, for prospects without selling. It includes content with help of attract audience. So, content lessons, something we are telling about the product, communicating with the customer. Okay, so without, we are not, a thing, uh, we don't think we are selling some product and that and all they will say. Anyhow, they are going to sell something. But initially, what they will say, we are not going to sell anything, just we are communicating to you. Like we buy juice only, and good example for this. Okay, so what they will do now, we are communicating and then they are attracting the people. If we are satisfying the business, automatically we will pay the amount and we are getting all this. Okay, 
the example for content marketing the say for uh, samosa and then referral marketing referral marketing is referred to spreading the word about a product or service to existing customer or business enterprise already uh, some uh, company is using the product and then he will refer the product okay how we are using how it is working now whether it is good or not everything he will say after that one he will buy the thing it is known as word of mouth so somebody will say about the product no automatically if it is good uh, uh, we will buy the product that is called as referral marketing okay and then third is trends in marketing retailing digital marketing digital marketing commodity marketing social marketing viral marketing ambush marketing guerrilla marketing content marketing uh, service marketing multi level marketing niche marketing referral marketing so many we saw we understand this children is very easy lesson you can normally we are using in our daily life this called as marketing okay children